And now, another installment of Meet Your Neighbors. Let's meet Grandpa's daughter, Mrs. Penny Sycamore. What about you, Mrs. Sycamore? Are you a reptile hunter, too? Oh, no. I write plays. Hey, an author in the house. What kind of plays do you write? Every kind. You see, a typewriter was delivered to our house eight years ago by mistake. We're glad it wasn't a bass drum. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the fun is about to start. When I strike this gong, each man should sit at the table you've been assigned. When I strike it again, date's over, move on. Are the five minutes up? These women would welcome a call from you. And these women would welcome a call from you. My. Kelly, how nice of you to come. Happy to appraise beautiful diamonds, and sometimes even offer to buy them. I paid two million for that one, and I'm sure it's appreciated, along with all the other ones. Tell me, Kelly, how well did I invest? Not very. Come on, these stones have to be worth Mrs. at least... Mrs. Bardwell, none of these are real diamonds. Elizabeth Weber. Yes. Emily Quartermain just called and explained the entire situation. Oh, she did. Well, she was just being nice. I know you don't have any maternity clothes. Nonsense. My new sales girl is already picking out the perfect dress for you. She's wonderful. Has a great eye. Okay. Sometimes when you're pregnant, you have to take what you can get. Will uh, either of these work for you? Is there a problem? I don't know. Is there? If I offended you, I'll just go get the ones I really picked up. So far, Maxie has been an excellent sales associate. But if there are problems, I'd like to know. Oh, nothing that should affect her work. Have you known her for very long? I'm not going to bore you with the details. She was with my ex-husband for a while, that's all. Then no wonder Maxie has trouble dealing with you. It's perfectly understandable. I'm sorry? She's probably jealous because you and your ex are expecting a baby. Usually I'm hiding in the, in the bedroom or something, but this time I was hiding in the foyer closet. And uh, she, was, uh, she, was, she was holding a bag from Gimbal's. James, are you home? James? 